Hey, there's some really strange stuff going on. We, we know the shoe throw was weird, right, Jamie? And I'm starting to really get the vibe from listening because you listen to their narrative. You listen to their narrative and they're leaving Florida in this thing. Now, you have to remember the devil's advocate came from Gainesville, Florida. Steve Spurrier, a previous coach, has Adolf Hitler's birthday. Dan Mullen, who has been throwing more hand signals than anybody I've ever seen, ever. He throws as many singles as, all right, he don't throw as many as Trump. But Dan Mullen, Spurrier had Hitler's birthday. And you've got the devil's advocate came from Gainesville, Florida in the movie. That's where he came from, Gainesville, Florida. Like, random. Florida is the orange and the blue. The blue lodge and orange comes to 33. Does Clemson get bounced college football playoff rankings ESPN Florida for some reason dropped one spot they have two losses now LSU won a national championship with two losses during the BCS era. We get it. Clemson is orange. Orange comes to 33, but Florida has that. Now they might keep these same four and just make the Heisman trophy winner. Heisman comes to 33. Heisman, he is man. That's how you spell it. Does Kyle Trask at least come close enough to beating Alabama to where he wins the He Is Man trophy? Because the devil's advocate comes where? Out of Gainesville. It might be as simple as that. But if Florida was to make the playoff, they would bounce Clemson because they cover the orange. Notre Dame's got the four horsemen. Alabama, the wave. The wave, the blood, the crimson wave of the blood shed by the sheep. We showed that in the ghost in the ghost in the machine. Welcome to the machine, Pink Floyd video. Ohio State, the buck eye, the dotting of the eye. The Antichrist gets his wound over the eye, but the the buck, the eye, um, the stag, the buck the regeneration, and then the Antichrist receives a deadly wound in his eye because Trump is the stag. Remember the stag that was on top of Skyfall in Scotland where James Bond, double O, what? Double O seven, right? There are seven kings, five have fallen, and he is even, even the eighth is of the seven. Five or fall and Nebuchadnezzar didn't fall. Point, point, point being, what's the point being? They might just keep all four teams. If they bounce one, it'll be Clemson. They'll lose twice to Notre Dame. Florida will upset Alabama. Alabama will drop the fourth. AM will have to lose their game to Tennessee, too. All impossibilities. Impossible that these things would happen. Florida's a 17 point underdog. Point spread for Texas A&M and Tennessee. All these different things have to happen. Minus 14. 14 point spread, 17 point spread. I'm telling you, here's how you'll know. If Clemson beats Notre Dame, Florida's going to lose to Alabama. Unless they bounce Ohio State. But if Notre Dame beats Clemson, just expect Florida to beat Alabama, and those will be your four teams. I mean, unless the 12th man, you know, who's the 12th man? 12th apostle. 
when they killed Jesus, the 12th man. That's what they call him. I mean, I can, I can make a case for why they would stick a &M in there, but I'm trying to get out in front of this. Florida upsets Alabama. Kyle Trask wins the Heisman. And very more than, more than likely, you won't have the playoffs. The calamity will begin maybe before those four teams start knocking each other off in the playoffs. But how crazy would it be if Florida ends up winning the national championship because, they, because of the um, devil's advocate came from where? Gainesville, Florida. That's my point. Um, at least win the Heisman, if not the national championship. If, unless, because Georgia would have beat the dog mess. Dog, pun. Um, Georgia sat their quarterback who's killing it right now. Georgia looks like one of the best teams in the country. But they played a walk-on quarterback and sat. They said, well, he wasn't ready to go yet. The guy said, I was ready five weeks ago. Probably wasn't supposed to say that, but he did. All the world's a stage. I'm not saying college football has been run. I'll tell you, it's run spiritually. I mean, how many goats are coaching and playing? Okay. So if they're of their father, the devil, spiritually, players drop passes, players make penalties, players miss field goals. They're in control of all of it. So, and I'm talking, the spiritual realm is in control of all. Your flesh and blood, you don't have flesh and blood enemies. Your, your, your enemies are spiritual. But right now, the ghost of the machine is writing a script and orchestrating this, and they're all following suit. That's why the head coaches had to be made men in the system all along, was for these end times. So they would all stick together with the illness, the illness 19. They would all stick together with an upcoming uh, poke poke. And they would all follow the script. When you look at the NFL, they hold all these coaches hold these big gigantic cards in their hands. Big cards, play call sheets, probably telling them in what series, what where the defense will be, so you could orchestrate. That's what that's how Tom Brady has always been Tom Brady. Period. It's a joke. Bill Belichick. It's a joke. It's all a joke. It's all fantasy land. I hate them all. Love you.